All right, so today we're gonna be trying this brown 8A on like this small wall where you guys have seen me so much. Not so recently, but in the past videos. And this is kind of a little bit my anti style. It's like uh, pure power almost, but really large moves. So see how it goes. I've given it one try before and I actually did the 8A start and then fell off the 7C finish. So hop into it, see how it goes. That's definitely where I run out because the first move is like everything and it's like pure power move so it's like easily at least 95% and then the next move for me because I'm shorter is like still a 95% move so I need to figure out how to do like the first move easier ish and like still going to the second be fresh so the other videos I said that my fingers don't get injured and unfortunately that's the only part of me that doesn't get injured so I'm battling um, some kind of elbow pain again but the past couple tries I've done on this, it feels completely all right. So I think I'll keep going until it feels, you know, like not okay. But just listen to my body, I guess. But the first move feels really good. And like I said, I get to the 7C start and I'm like, ah, just like tired because I've used up all my power and like instant, like kind of instant push that I get. So see if I can pull through to the end. Um, so the 8 day start itself is not easy, but it goes every time for me. So it's like 100% time, even though it's hard. But the 7 seat start for me is 40, 30% maybe percent chance. So for me, it's like balancing out like how often can I get? Because you need everything to get perfect. Like if you land like slightly wrong with one finger, it won't, it won't go. Yeah. Okay. So for me, it's like combination of like really pulling up with my left arm and then like getting my right hip into the wall so I can just like, maintain that line. So like once I get that, then it's like, it's good. But if I don't, if I do anything otherwise, it's just impossible. So then we'll rest for a bit, give another try. There it went. Um, it's funny because there the 8A start felt really hard. And then the 7C went like perfectly. So that's just projecting. But you know, made it to the top and that's what matters. So it's a low percent move. That is the crux. Yeah. Like linking the two is the hard part. Because um, for me, if you're short, you can actually get like an under, if you're tall, you can get an underclaim just reach up. And it's not quite as hard. You just have to have good feet. But for if you're shorter like me, it's a low percentage move because you just have to like keep your body tension in a straight line like all the way down your body. And it's like really push and it's like Sah! hold as hard as you can. And that time it just like it clicked for me how to kind of align everything at once and make it happen. So I feel like you guys have heard this a lot, but we're back again. <laughs> um God, how many sessions have I been on this thing? A fair amount. And I guess we only show you like one or two tries per session because I come to this thing at the end. But um, we'll see how this goes. My skin is pretty good. I feel like my fingers are recruited. But if there's anything that like spikes my, my wrist, my elbow pain, this will be it. Because that first move, and then you're just like hauling your entire body up off of that one pinch. So if there's something that'll do it, that's, it'll be that move. But I think I'm gonna hop up to the top real quick and like try and fix that beta. Because if I don't know the beta, there's no need to like crank from the bottom. Go with that. Gotta love it. <laughs> Come on, dude. Um, so 
I mean, that's that's the crux. Julius building. That's a, like the short man's crux, I think. Is it doable? I think so. I mean, even Migos had trouble with that move. And tall people can just like kind of go right and then bump right again. That's not too bad. So I think we'll see. Because that time I was like right foot on, left toe under. And then I just kind of like pulled myself off the wall. I think I need to figure out something that works a little bit better. Um, I'm trying to keep like a super good attitude because it's something that I know I need to work on. So you won't see the classic Nick in just pick up my phone, throw it around. Oh God, angsty. Wait, no, go. Wrong hand. Yeah, wrong hand. All right, so I think I'm like walking the line of like, this is actually impossible if you're short versus like very, very hard for me. Um, so a couple times I've tried left, foot, left hand up and then kind of just like staticking it. And that's, I'm not even really close. So this time I'm just gonna go right, bump my feet up and just trying to do like precision dead point. Be like, what's on? Just like cut everything loose. So we see if that goes. No promises. So I've tried doing the safe route a couple times now and I'm kind of scared to jump to it because there's like this big ass orange sloper that's like this big like rail, and this big like plate. So if I miss and fall, I'm gonna like hit that ass first, like bend my back forward and just fall to the ground. Or my feet will fly out and I'll just land face first. So seems worth it to climb something indoors, right? <laughs> Give another try. Jesus Christ. That's so sick. I I was yeah that was, yeah. Jesus. Jesus. Do that from the start. That's so cool though. Holy crap. Like such a super superhero move. Yeah. Um, I'm not entirely sure I'm gonna be able to like do that move from the start of it. So we'll see. But I'm. Cause I was like that is impossible. I'm never gonna get that. I'm too short. I got it. So that's like, psych is high. So that's like, what are they doing? They're just drilling. Like, oh look, he's filming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so rest a little bit and then give it a real try. I want to do a shirtless try, but all the lead builders are going to judge me super hard. Yeah. I don't think I care. It's going to be a shirtless try. Like, first time I've ever done that crux move. I'm like feeling strong, and my fingers are super, super wet. <laughs> Let's do this. I'm so ready to be done with this thing. Move on to new, new prospects and new projects. All for, the, all for the audience. Watch, I'm gonna fall off the last move again. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, the lead beaters will judge you, dude. I, I don't, I don't. They'll care. judge you forever. Nice, Nicky. No! What? Huh? What? What? That's never happened before. Never fallen out of the move. Sorry, I still The move felt easy. I just have to put the wrong place. You didn't even scream this time. What happened, Nick and Daniels? I just knew I could do it, but my foot was too far to the left. My regular, like, step foot through beta didn't work out so well. So I was like, okay. Drop. You know, fingers recruited. Again and again and again. Come on again. Yeah, boy. Come on. Come on. What? <laughs> again? What? How? <laughs> of course. Oh no, it's getting in his head now. As soon as I do the crux move, I can't do anything else. Just gotta chill. No, take a rest. Can't let it affect me. <laughs> um, yeah, so you know, keep trying it. Hopefully, 
Hopefully, don't keep failing, but you know, there's always failing. Oh, he doesn't even have the t on. Oh, oh. I know. <laughs> I'm turning into real boulder now. <laughs> Insta shirtless. I give up. So, so <laughs> done. <laughs> That's so close. <laughs> it's every day. How many times? 20 times I've fallen off that move. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> oh. You look solid though. It felt super hard. I can understand why you're frustrated, dude. For sure. Uh, Alright, um, yeah, I'm calling it for today. I'm so done with this. I'll just like erupt in anger the next time I fall off. Um, so once again, we'll come back to this later. But you guys actually did get to see me send one thing today. So that's somewhat exciting, I guess. Um, yeah, so have a good day. As always, comment, like, then subscribe. Switch it up a bit, but see you later, guys.